All right, so the new Mortal Kombat trailer dropped a couple of hours ago for the April 16th release. And YouTube is being YouTube. Warner Brothers is doing copyright strikes on reactions. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't do a reaction. I don't like doing reactions anyway. But let's talk about what we saw in the trailer. And you've seen right off the bat, blood and gore which is good, but you've seen fatalities, which is great, or the insinuation towards fatalities that we get into. My thing is, where's Johnny Cage? They saying Cole Young ain't replacing him. I'm like, please don't kill him. Don't kill off Johnny Cage like he's just nothing. I got a feeling that's what's gonna happen. And I'm not going off for the trailer, what I saw in the trailer. I'm just got a feeling that's what's gonna happen. Or maybe he'll show up pending into the, the sequel, the, the potential sequels. But yeah, the Mortal Kombat trailer dropped. Uh, I've seen a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Seemed like the story's going to go somewhere decent. I'm waiting for Kano to betray everybody. Which I think is going to happen, of course. He's Kano, he's a mercenary. Um... And we've seen it happen in the comic. I mean, not comic. Well, the comic and the games. So I'm just waiting to see what's going to be on that forecast. But in this trailer, you got to see in this version how Jax loses his arms. And I'm like, okay, it works for me. I don't want you to go watch the trailer. I'm going to show you pictures of it. But... Watch the trailer. You see how Jax loses his arms. Um, there's other characters that haven't been shown yet. That's possibly in this like Wan Chi. Like I mentioned, Johnny Cage. Katana. Because if Melina's in it, Katana got to be in it. Baraka definitely more than likely might show up. And who knows how this is going. But this guy here, right off the bat, of course, because it's the first Mortal Kombat movie. You know you was going to see Goro. But who is that he fighting is the question. We don't know. We don't know. But look at that. Goro, I like the special effects so far with it. Now that animatronic thing from the 90s Mortal Kombat, I can live with this. Hopefully they refine it more. But it's just too quick for me to know how good it's going to look. But this right here, Jax with the cybernetic arms. And there's a dude down on the knees. And he's looking like he's going to perform his head crush fatality and i hope he does because that's what they've been setting up as well in that trailer but they can't show you too much violence in the trailer even though it's a red band trailer and look at this right here as you can see this is melina and she gets a chunk taken out of her by Look over to Cole's side because I believe that's Cole Young right there. And that is Sonya Blade using the radar rings attack. And it looked like she significantly takes Melina. If she doesn't kill her, she I don't know what. But we seen them fighting later on in the trailer, so we know it's those two. We see Sonya right there. But Kano. Check out Kano. I don't know what type of monster this is, but he performs his Mortal Kombat 1 fatality, Heart Tear, which you will see. Just go look up the trailer. I can't do the reaction blow for blow and show you everything. And you can also see a lot of the scorpion attack. There's a part in here where he's using his um, kunai on a rope. While he is still in human form before he becomes the Spectre. And there's a drag out knockdown fight with Sub Zero actually using his cryomantic, cryomantic powers to freeze Scorpion's blood and use it as a weapon. And it kind of reminds me of what's the character name? Um, Scarlet, how she can do that with blood. But you got you got to see it. You you get shots of Ludi Lin is Liu Kang using his fire. Kung Lao using his hat. Um, you see more of Jax, like I said, how he loses his arms, how he fights, how he's about to do a fatality. Uh, 
I, I can't wait to see how this movie turns out. Like, it's April 16th. And one more thing. I had an old friend of mine saying, I'm not holding my breath. Um, I got disappointed in my childhood. I told him, number one, this ain't your childhood, Mortal Kombat. Number two, it has, it's rated R, it has fatalities. It looks like it has a story. Well, violence ain't going to make it any better, LOL. I'm like, uh, wait, 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 hold up. Hold up. You acting like there's been like 2,000 Mortal Kombat movies made since the early 90s. There's been two. One decent one, the first one, and one that was bad, the second one. Okay, there's been no more Mortal Kombat movies. So, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You can have apprehension. Just don't sound like a complete moron. You know? <sighs> anyway, I'm stoked to see Mortal Kombat. Because, of course, I'm going to be apprehensive about it. But, as long as it's on tune with the game Mortal Kombat, I'm, the games... It has that level going, it has storytelling, and it has what makes Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat. I'm like, okay, this might work. This might work. We will find out April 16th. Because I'm a fury, I'm out. Peace.